All right, Fusion Impact class. Let's go ahead and get started with a great class. Remember to do your best to get through all of the drills that we're going through today. If you have any questions, don't forget you can message us, okay? If, uh, if you're an online student only right now and you need some help with something, make sure you talk to our staff. We can always set up a one-on-one -on -one Zoom lesson with you uh, in order to kind of iron out any issues you may have. But let's go ahead and get started, ready? Go ahead and face front and strong bow. All right, Academy Tents begin. I will demonstrate leadership, strength, commitment, knowledge, respect, sir. Strong bow. All right, let's go ahead and get 15 jumping jacks. Ready, go. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Try to make sure your fingers are touching above your head as you go. That's eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Five more. Eleven, sir. Twelve, sir. Thirteen, sir. Fourteen, sir. Fifteen. Good job. Please wise your shoulders. Neck rotations. Good rotation with your head going around and around. Stretching those neck muscles out. And other way. All right, all right. Good. From here, we're going to go uh, arm circles forward and backwards. Just get everything nice and loose back and forth across the body. Excellent. And up and down. All right. Feet twice as wide as your shoulders going over the top, side to side, loosen up that low back and obliques. Twist side to side. Good. Good, legs straight, stretch low from side to side. Do bring your chest from one knee over to the other. One, the other, good. All right, hands on the floor, hips side to side. Good, stretch your hamstring here as you straighten this leg out all the way. Good, and three, two, one. All right, our warm up today is a blitz back fist, okay? We're gonna include that with a little uh, extra workout in there just to, again, get everything moving. So, first thing, I'm going to get in my fighting stance. doesn't matter which side you use first. We're going to use both. Actually, I'm going to turn sideways. So for this blitz, back fist, the blitz part of it is what I do with my legs. My back foot comes up to my front foot. I lift my front foot. I hop to my front foot and back fist. What it does is it just covers a lot of distance, okay? If I were to come towards somebody in sparring like this, I'm in a really bad position right here, okay? If I'm here and I back fist, I'm not in as bad of a spot, right? But when I'm here, I can shuffle that step and then hop to it, okay? So again, I'm here, back leg comes up, lift your front leg, hop to your front leg, and back fist. All right, let's do it again slow. Half step, lift, hop, back fist. All right, so regular speed, it looks like this. All right, let's do it together. Here we go, and go for it. Back fist, or blitz, back fist. Step up, hop to that front foot, back fist. One more. Good. All right, let's go the other way. So I'm here, back leg steps up, hop to my front foot, back fist. I'm only hopping off of one foot because I'm lifting that front foot before my back foot does anything, okay? Or before I hop. So step up, lift, hop to that back fist. There you go. Good. Splits, back fist. Good. One more. Good. All right. Now we're going to add this. So I'm going to go blitz, back fist, step back, lunge, step together and back. Blitz, back fist, the front leg becomes my back leg, and then I step back out again, okay? Right, let's go slow one more time. Step up, back fist, left leg, my front leg, touch my knee, feet come together, step back and guard. All right, 20, oh, I'm sorry, 15 seconds on this side, and go. Step up, back fist, step back for that lunge. Back to guard, step up, back fist, back for that lunge. Good, resetting each time in a good fighter stance. Good, and four, three, two, one. We're gonna go to the other side now. Let's do the first one together. So step up, lift, blitz back fist, front leg, touches the knee, together, and back. Whew, a lot of movement. Here we go, 15 seconds, ready to go. Step up, blitz back fist, step back for the lunge, together, back in a good guard. Blitz back fist, back, back to guard. Good, that's it, back out. Good, my timer. There you go. Three, two, one, and time on that one. All right, great work. Let's go ahead and transition to the floor for our stretches. All right, we're going to stretch it out, so go ahead and have a seat. Uh, some of you are not going to like this whatsoever because I'm going to reverse all of our stretches. So we're actually going to start feet, bottom of our feet together, and then move your knees up and down like butterfly wings, or you can push them straight down to the floor. All right, so here we go. Pull them in. And go for it. Working butterfly stretch first. Some of you are like, we can't do this. This is the last stretch. We'll get through this together, I promise. It'll feel a little bit different, but that's okay. All right, good. From there, we take our legs out into a V. And from here, we're going to get 10 side-to-side -side stretches. Ready? Go for it. One, sir. Two, sir. 
Remember, try and go as low as you can. Don't overdo it, but also don't underdo it, okay? That's six or five, sir. Six. That's seven. Almost there. Eight. Try to go a little bit lower. Nine. Last one. Ten. Sir. All right. Legs out a bit wider, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to lean forward just a little bit. We're hinging at the hips, leaning, okay? A lot of times when I see people stretching down the middle, they'll get their head down like this, but they're not really getting much of a stretch because they're, they're hunched over, right? So we get the stretch by hinging at our hips, okay? So I'm going to lean forward, trying to get my stomach here, my chest here. I can't get all the way down today, but you get the point. So I'm going to hinge forward. Now, if you can, grab a foot in each hand. If you can't, that's okay. All right? And then just kind of lower down slowly until you get to that point where it stops. And then hold it. And then a little lower. And then hold it. Whew. Feel the burn. And then a little lower. And hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, good. From there, we're going to lay back. All right? And pull one in your chest. Other leg straight. Switching legs every four or five seconds. Pulling that leg in. This is like a chamber of a front kick, okay? So my toes are pulled back towards me, not flexed forward towards you. Good. After four or five seconds, pull that knee in. One more here. Good. All right. From there, we're going to sit up. We're going to cross our left leg over. Spinal twist to the left. Good. So whatever knee is up, basically that's the direction I'm going to twist and look over that shoulder. Very nice. Very nice. And switch it up other way. Good. If you're wondering if I'm having trouble remembering the order of the stretches backwards, yes. <laughs> good. All right, good. From there, one leg straight, other leg around behind you. We're going to lean forward again like we did before, hinging at the hip, and stretch forward over that leg and hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, a little bit lower. Five, four, three, a little bit lower. Two, one. Let's switch. Other side. Here we go. Good. Here we go. Lean forward. Reach. Again, hinging at the hip, 10, 9, 8, 7, whew, 6, 5, 4, a little bit lower, 3, 2, 1. All right, bring them both up. Here we go. So legs straight, leaning forward. You can see here how my head is up like this. So when I do this stretch, what I want to try to do is get my ears between my biceps and stretch forward. Good. Leaning down. We get five more seconds of this. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, good. From there, we're going to do five straight leg back rollers and five with your legs bent. Ready? And go for it. That hold, that's one. Good. Nice, low. Throw the floor if you can. If you can't touch the floor, that's okay. That's three. Two more. If we're going in reverse, maybe I should be counting backwards. Here we go. And that's the last one of those. All right, five more legs bent. Good. That's two. Good. Three. Nice roll, four, one more of these guys, five. All right, very good from there. Coming around, Whew. take a deep breath, and we're going to cat back, head down, shoulders up nice and high. Nope, I missed one, didn't I? Here we go, back bow, that's the one. I knew I'd forget one. Good, up from back bow, nice and high stretch here. It's actually more of a stabilization drill, but still great. Good, that. now cat back, head down, shoulders up. Good. Whew. Backward stretching is hard. All right, good. From there, cobra stretch, hips down, shoulders up. Good stretch in our core here. You can kind of turn your shoulder from side to side to get into those abdominal muscles a little bit deeper. Very nice. All right, we're going to sit back, seated toe stretch. So I'm sitting on the ball of my feet. My toes are pulled back under me. All right, and I'm stretching my toes, okay, by kind of pushing my knees forward. That pulls my toes back a little bit tighter and just kind of stretches those, preparing them for front kicks and round kicks. All right, last one, first one, seated ankle stretch. Now my feet, I'm on the top of my feet, stretching my ankles, shin, a little bit of quadricep stretch, and then we will get on with the next part of class. All right, good. Let's go ahead and hop up and get going. All right, from here, we're going to work a skip front kick drill. So if you're newer to this kick, I want you to work on just the basics of what this low-level skip front kick. By low-level, I don't mean easy because it's not. Low-level meaning not high in the air. If you've done this several times and you have a surface at home that is uh, okay for this, okay, I want you to work on going a little bit higher and making it more of an up with the back, kick with the front, jump front kick, or jump double front kick. Let's cover them all. Here we go. So first, I'm going to turn sideways so you can see. I want to have my kicking leg in front of me when I do this drill. So I like this leg today, so I'm going to put this leg in front of me. My leg that's behind me has a big job, okay? It comes up, and it replaces the foot that's on the floor. But I come up, hop, front kick, okay, or skip, 
front kick. So once my back foot comes off the floor, I only have one foot on the floor until my kick is over. So watch, my back leg comes up, then I hop off my front leg and kick with my front leg, okay? So that's a skip front. So the leg coming up helps my body to move forward and up at the same time for that skip front kick, okay? So we're gonna work one side only. Now, if that's easy for you, I want you to work on more of an up with the back, kick with the front. That means that knee is going a lot higher, okay, than it was before. So going up with one, switch kick with the other, okay? The other option, black belts, you're allowed to do this in the commitment form, is doing both front kicks. So back leg, front leg, so I go one, two, okay? So again, coming at you, one, two. So either a skip front kick low, up with the back, kick with the front, jump front kick, which is higher, or jump double front kick. Pick your side. And I'll set the timer and go for it. All right, so again, just working several reps here. You can work on one, then you can go to one of the other ones, okay? Any of the jump double front kicks, just keep on going. We're only gonna go for 20 seconds, so don't give up on me. Good, five more seconds. All right, and time. Let's switch it to the other side. All right, so take a second, get yourself ready. All right, let's do the other side. Ready, set, and go for it. Good, again, hands up for those bonus points. So now we're doing the other leg now. Skip, up with that kick front jump, or jump double front kick. Good, keep it up. And 10 seconds down, 10 seconds left. Then we go to level two. Here we go. Doing great. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, now, the hardest part of this in our form is holding our balance. So now, we're gonna take it to the next level where when you're done with your front kick, I want you to try to hold your balance for a two count. Hug and then land chop punch. So it looks like this. Skip, front kick, one, two, chop, punch. So you notice that my chop hits the ground or hits the target when my foot hits the ground, okay? So if I'm doing up with the back to the front jump, again, up, kick, hug, one, two, chop, punch. Holding that one, two. All right, here we go, setting the timer. Pick your other side and go for it. We're gonna do both sides, so skip, Front, hold it, one, two, hug, chop, punch. That hug is really important in your form. You get really high scores when you hug tight and lower scores if you don't. So keep it up, good. We have dun, 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 10 more seconds. So again, skip front kick, hold your, oh, that was a horrible front kick. Front kick, hold your balance, one, two, land, chop, punch. And three, two, one, time. Good, let's switch it up. Again, take a second to relax. Get the other leg in front. Again, I'm gonna skip. Front, hold it, one, two, land, chop, and punch. Here we go, ready, and go for it. Hands up for that bonus, good, skip. Front, hold, one, two, hug, chop, punch. That balance is so key to making that section of the form look really sharp. Good, keep it up, keep it up. Almost to the 10 second mark, 10 seconds left. All right, 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, get a couple more in, three, two, one, great job, great job, great job. So again, that's a huge challenge, all right? And so here's what we're gonna do for, for final challenge, okay? Level three, we're gonna pick just your favorite side, and what I want you to do is I want you to skip front, and then from there, see how many more front kicks that you can do in 10 seconds, okay? So you do the skip front kick, I'll start the timer. Get ready, skip front kick, and go. Skip front kick, and then see how many more front kicks you can do. So keep on trying to get those kicks going, if it drops, pick it back up and go. You have five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. If you want to do the other side, you can pause the video, do the other side, and then go on with your class. Good job. Let's move on. All right, so we're going to start this chair drill with a couple of squats, okay? So from here, chair squats, back is straight. I'm going to bend my knees and touch and come back up. We're only going to get five of these for right now. Ready? And once you touch, come right back up. Ready? One, two, three four, and five. All right, our friend, the sidekick. So we're gonna flip this guy around. Again, get to where you can hold onto the chair, uh, the back of the chair, something you can hold onto that's steady. If you don't need this because you have perfect balance, great for you, but <laughs> for the rest of us, hold on to that. So sidekick uh, is one of the most misdone kicks that we teach. Okay, what that means is, out of all the kicks we do, this is the one that people get wrong a lot of the time, okay? And it's because it's hard to get it right, but what we're gonna work on is this, okay? So we're gonna call first position, we're gonna go here. Second position is sideways. Third, we're gonna kick it out. Four, we're gonna bring it back. Five, we're gonna set down. The reason people get this kick wrong is they skip part one and two. 
They just bring their knee up like a round kick and poke, poke their heel out. Well, that has no power at all. And then when they try to break a board with a spin side or a jump side, they don't do it because they're doing a roundhouse motion, okay? So let's do this together. Hold on to your chair. One, pick up like you're going to front kick that way. Good. Hold on. Two, edge it over sideways. Three, kick it out. Four, bring it back. Five, set it down. Very good. Now, notice when I kicked out, I didn't point my toes like I would a, a sparring round kick. My toes are pulled back, hitting with my heel. Here we go. Four more. One, two, three, four, and five. That four is important because I bring it back. If I wanted to do another one, I'd be able to kick it straight out again. If I don't, I don't want to just drop it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Two more. One, two, three, four, five. One more. One, two, three, four. And five. All right, here we go. Other side. So again, I'm going to lift. Let's do it together. One, I'm going to hold. Okay, I'm holding it up just like I would a front kick. Two, I edge it over sideways. Three, kick it out. Four, almost fell over. And five, set down. All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, and five. Good. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Two more. One, two, three, Four, five, last one. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, for this challenge drill, I'm going to turn the chair this way. And what I want to do is psychic under, psychic over, okay? You can make it harder if you want. If you want to flip it back this way and you want to go here and here, that's fine, okay? The idea here is I want my knee to go from position two here back to position two here, okay? My knee is driving back and forth like this, all right? So I'm not doing that. That's a round kick, okay? I'm bringing my knee up to position one, two, push, pull back to two, push, pull back to two, okay? So I want you to practice that a couple times on one side for now. Ready? Setting the timer for 20 seconds. And go for it. Lift over, one, bring it back to touch, two, bring it back, and down. Bring it up, over, one, bring it back, Two, bring it back, down. Good. A couple more of those. Just on one side for now. We'll switch. And nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. So again, I'll turn it sideways so you can see. So I go from position one to two, kick out, back to two, kick out, back to two. Just training my leg to do that, that position. Ready? Other side, go for it. So bring it up, one, bring your knee back, two, remember to grab it, one, grab it again, two, grab it again, then set down. That knee has to come back and forth. Good, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Nice job on that drill, gang. All right, let's hit it to the next drill. All right, gang, go ahead and grab your commas. We're going to go through our form here, and uh, we're going to go through the entire thing. So if you aren't required to learn the whole thing, you do not have to go through it. All right, but you can if you just kind of want to. But only do so if you already know the sections that you have to know. So we have three sections in the commitment form, okay? And each section is uh, similar in the fact that they're symmetrical, okay, for the most part, except for section two. But for the most part, we have a lot of symmetry in the form. So what we're going to do first is we're going to face – I'm going to face away from you, so pretend you're standing behind me, okay? So we face – you, you're facing your screen, and I'm facing pretending your screen. We're going to bow. Left leg steps out. Hands cross a little bit above our heads. From here, my left leg steps out like I'm getting on a big horse. Elbows drive down. I yell. ay -ya. From there, my right hand attacks. Left hand attacks. From that position, my left arm hugs on top. I turn my toes. I don't step anywhere. I just make my left leg my front leg, and I low block. From that position, my hands come up. I'm going to skip. Front kick. Then I'm going to hug, and then I'm going to land and do my chop. So my chop comes across sideways, and then my punch comes out, okay? From that position there, I'm going to turn. My right hand goes on top. I go to the other corner and low block with my right side in front. All right, now my right leg is going to do my skip, front kick. I'm going to hug, land, chop, punch. All right, so we have elbows down, right, left attack. To the left, low block, skip, front, chop, punch. To the right, low block, skip front, chop punch. 
Now, if you're a warrior kid, white through green belt, that's it. That's all you have to know. So you keep practicing that. All right, while well, we go on to section number two, okay? If you need to practice section one again or, not re or you know, you're not ready for section two or you don't have to learn it, you can rewind and go back to the beginning of this drill and watch it again and follow along, okay? So now, the rest of you guys, if you're not a warrior kid, white through green, you do have a section two. And what we have from here is a little bit of symmetry. So I go from my last position, my right skip front kick, right chop left punch. My left hand, I'm going to move this a little bit. My left hand is going to point to the, uh, the, your screen, so point towards me. Then your left leg goes behind you. I'm going to high block, hug, low block. So this is my right side. So you should be facing the same way I am. So your belly should be facing that way. Right high block, hug, low block. From that position, I step backwards. I do the same combo. Step back, high, low. Okay. Now this is the part that's not as symmetrical. Okay. I'm going to do this once in this form. So my left foot now goes from a front back stance to a front stance. So my front foot stays my front foot. It just moves up and over, back arm punch. All right. Now from here, if you're a black belt, you can do a run jump side kick with your right leg. All right. If you're not a black belt, follow along with me. We're here. We're going to go back leg, front kick, land, skip front kick. Then if you're a brown belt and above, jump front kick, hug, low block in a low city stance. Okay. So that is section number two. The big difference there is if you're a brown and red or black, you have a jump front kick. And if you're a black belt, you're allowed to do a two step right leg jump side kick before landing in your sitting stance, okay? So that is section two, so let's talk about it. Again, if you're not doing section two, you're practicing section one, so keep practicing elbows, one, two, low bucks, kick, kick, keep doing it. All right, those of you that have to know section two, we have high, low on the right, high, low on the left, punch. Then front kick, skip front kick, jump front kick, low block. All right, let's go through section three for those of you that have to know section three. So the people that have to know section three is all brown belts, and above, okay? And then if you're fusion impact, you're blue or purple, you also have section three, okay? So here we go. I just did my jump kicks. I have my low block towards the screen, right? Left leg is away from me right now. So we're gonna hop side kick if we're blue or purple. We're gonna hop hook kick if we're brown and red. We're gonna hop hook kick round kick if we're black belts. Okay, so again, I'm here looking towards the screen. Look away from your screen. Left leg is gonna hop either side kick, hook kick, or Hook kick, round kick. I land facing away from the screen. Chop, elbow strike. Good. I'll wait a minute. There you go. So again, I just did my hook or hook round or side kick. I landed with a chop and then an elbow strike. Now I look over my right shoulder, do the same thing. Again, side kick for blue and purple. Hook kick for brown and red. Hook round for black. So I hop, I do my kick, land again. Chop, elbow, and then black belts. You have three more moves, and that is my front leg becomes my back leg by going the long way. So I go from here, my front leg goes all the way behind me, my right arm hugs, and I do like a reverse hook here, or knife hand. Then from there, left punch, right punch out. Ayah! All right, gang, that is the whole form. It is kind of a beast, but so are you. So rewind if you need to practice it again. Don't just move forward if you don't know your form yet. We want you to know your form. The form stripe is unlocked, so you can get that at any time. You can either, if you're not doing in-person classes, you can send us a video of you doing the whole form. Uh, otherwise, when you come into class next, let us know you want to test for your form stripe. Great job. Let's move on. All right, so I'm going to take you in now to the blocking video challenge. I know we've done this a couple of times, but specifically, we're going to focus today on blocking and counterattacking, okay? And here's what I mean. When it says low block, you're going to low block, and then I want you to do any counterattack you want. Then it says outer form block, outer form block, and any counterattack. So any of the blocks that come up, I'll, I'll review them with you. Any of the blocks that come up to you, I want you to immediately counterattack, okay? As soon as you're done blocking, counterattack. I don't care if it's a jump front kick. I don't care if it's a back fist, a knife hand. Try to do a different move every time, though, okay? You can even switch legs, do the other side, all right? But here's the blocks that are going to come at you. Left low block, left outer form block. Right low block, right outer form block. Left outside block, right outside block. Left high block, right high block. Now, there's also two other elements, and that is a jump when it comes low or a duck when it swings high. You don't have to counterattack those. And then there's three levels where you have to do push-ups for 10 seconds to get those guns strong, right? All right, so I'm going to send you into the challenge. Again, your goal when you do any block is to immediately counterattack. Boom, boom. Any counterattack you want to do, nice and smooth. If you do this right, you should be a sweaty mess when I see you guys again. All right, let's go into the video challenge. Here we go. Get ready. Level 1. Left low block. Left outer forearm block. 
Level 2 Left low block Left outer forearm block Right low block Right outer forearm block Level 3. Strength Builder Round. Do 10 seconds of push-ups. Ready. Set. Go. Level 4. Left low block. Left outer forearm block Right low block Right outer forearm block Duh Level 5 Left low block Left outer forearm block Right low block Right outer forearm block Duh Left outside block Level 6 Strength Builder Round do 10 seconds of push-ups Ready Set Go Level 7 Left low block Left outer forearm block Right low block Right outer forearm block Duck Left outside block Right outside block Jump Level 8 Left low block Left outer forearm block Right low block Right outer forearm block Duck Left outside block Right outside block Jump Left high block Right high block Level 9 Strength Builder Round Do 10 seconds of push-ups Ready Set. Go. Level 10. Final level. Left high block. Right low block. Duck. Right outside block Right high block Jump Left low block Left outer forearm block
right outer forearm block. Duck. Left outside block. Left high block. Jump. That is one of my favorite video challenges. It is hard, especially if you're doing drills, moves, kicks, and punches the whole time. Uh, that is a really, really challenging but really great drill to kind of work on some of those basics and blocking uh, and your striking moves as well as jumping and ducking. So good job. Let's go ahead on to our next drill. All right, guys, you did an incredible job today. So we're going to stop it here, but you guys did a great job. Remember coming in and doing your in-person class is awesome. Everything at the Taekwondo schools are super clean, wiped down, sanitized, hands washed, doors open, door handles wiped. Everything is super clean. Come on in, train with us. Let's get some stripes on our belts this next week. You guys did a great job and you deserve a little break now. Go take a rest.